NASA wants to get a better view of our oceans, and they're launching a new satellite to do it. KXAN's Eric Henriksen takes an in-depth look. NASA wants to get a better look at our oceans and waterways. Joining me now is Karen St. Germain, Director of Earth Sciences for NASA, to tell us about a new mission, SWAT, that's going to do just that. So Karen, tell me about the SWAT mission. What is it? What's the purpose of the mission? Well, the SWAT mission is, in, and SWAT is short for the Surface Water and Ocean Topography Mission. SWAT is a, a mission that will measure the height of water around the world. That means our global oceans, but also inland water, lakes, rivers, and reservoirs at a fidelity we've never seen before. And so when we're talking about ocean topography and water levels, I've always assumed oceans just flat. It's like one level. Is there variations in topography around the world? Yes, there are large variations in, in the ocean topography. The oceans are, are very dynamic and uh, with, with currents and eddies that carry heat and, and nutrients around the world. And SWAT will give us an unprecedented view with detailed clarity on the currents and the eddies and the, and the variations in sea level around the world. How does the satellite work? How does it analyze the topography? I'm, I'm assuming lasers are involved. I'm, it's always lasers. It's, it's a radar and it, it, it bounces a signal off of the surface of the ocean. And the thing that's different about SWAT is that it will do this across a swath. So in other words, it will give us an image of the, the height of the water, which we've never had before. And that's how we're gonna get the, the real detailed picture. So, you know, images from space tell us where there's water. What SWAT is gonna do is tell us how much is there, how high those water levels are. And finally, I wanna to touch on why people should care. Why should people care about what the water in our world looks like from space and what the levels it is? Well, our earth is a water planet. And, uh, and the water cycle, that is to say, uh, water that moves from the oceans through the atmosphere and onto land that supports life, and, and then it flows back into the oceans, that cycle is changing as our climate warms. And uh, understanding the, the nature of those changes is important for anybody who manages water, whether it's coastal communities, uh, marine navigation or inland reservoirs and, uh, and and waterway navigation as well. Anyone who cares about water really is going to benefit from this very detailed view of the water cycle. <music>